I'm Stampers. Today we're going to make this card and we're using the technique I'm calling faux rust and that's this around the porthole. Let's get started. First of all you will need some circles cut out. Uh, one is from using our circles dies and I have numbered these from 1 through 10 on size you'll use number seven, number six, and number four. This is number seven, and this is number six and number four. And it's pretty much just taking these two, like that and like that, to get your sphere or your little ring, and run it through the big shot, and this is the result. This color is soft sky, but you could use pool party. It's a pretty simple technique. I'm going to put a piece of white underneath because it gets pretty messy. We're using Cajun Craze ink and a gorgeous grunge stamp. And this is the stamp that we'll be using. Just ink it up and kind of splotch it all over the entire perimeter. Same thing with this circle, or this, the little donut. Like that. That's pretty much it. But then we will sponge it with Tip Top Taupe over the top. And let's see, I think this is it. Yes. And we're just going to sponge it. And that sort of gets rid of the blue color, but yet it gives it a older look. That's it for the little sphere. And then for this one, basically just the outside edge. And that's how you get the rusty look. Simple as that. So to complete this card, now we'll put the, uh, this is for the outside of the porthole now, so that they are looking on the, they're looking at this part of it. Uh, we'll, we'll do the sea turtle. The sea turtle is from the stamp from land to sea. And I've cut out a circle, another circle, this way from die number five and I'm using the black ink and this is the archival ink which really works out nicely for this because it's a nice crisp image and we don't want to stamp the entire turtle because Otherwise, you lose his head when you put it on the on the um, little borders, or put it on the donut. Okay, then I'm taking um, pear pizzazz, and I'm just sponging it so that there's sort of a halo around him, like a white halo almost. And we'll go back and fill that in. So we have that. The next color I'm using is Bermuda Bay. And we're just going to touch it. Not really rub it, just touch it to give it some more color. And the last color is Pacific Point. And I'm using a dauber for this one. And just again, real light touch, just to give it I'm barely touching it to give it that depth that we're looking for. Okay, then we'll color in the turtle. The turtle is, I'm just coloring the shell with tip top taupe. And then the body is in pear pizzazz. 
and the final color I'm using is Old Olive just for a little bit of highlighting in some of these little areas. That's it. Now to get rid of the white white, I'm just taking a little bit of the uh, pear again and just kind of going over the top. That gets rid of the complete white. So now we have our turtle. We're just going to place him onto the the larger circle. Ooh, really sticky. <laughs> okay, that's not working. All right, let's try this again. There we go. And that goes like that. So then for the little porthole part, the donut part, I'm using my uh, little pad and I did cut out a circle the same size and measured the holes. I'll take my paper piercing tool and just poke in those all the way around. and put in the brads and these are the mini brads need six of them two three four five six okay Let me try to be quick with this all right <laughs> course they're not going to open up because I'm filming it. All right. This will be the longest part of the video. And then after we have all the brads in we will take um, the Stampin' Dimensionals and put one on each of the brads. And that way you have a nice even image all the way around it so that it doesn't bow in any place. So there we have the brads. And part of it also, by putting the dimensionals on the brads, is it um, keeps them from twirling around on you. Okay, so I just put dimensionals on each one. Like that. Oops. Plus that flattens it out a little bit so that the card isn't too bulky. There we go. Taking off the adhesive, and then this just gets set on top of there. And then for just a little bit of extra, oops, this one's shown. Come on, there we go. For a little bit of extra, I'm going to add um, a copper sharpie marker just over the top and it takes gets rid of the shine it makes keeps going with that old rusty look and that's it so to complete the card I have already stamped out the um, hardwood stamp for the wood and that's our hardwood stamp but I do need to sponge it, bring this back on the edges like this. So you just, I'm really pressing hard. A little bit more ink. Okay. So it just kind of gives it that old, old look. And just the outside. Again, I'm really rubbing hard so that I can burnish that color into it. There we go. 
and then we assemble the card like this and put this on. And the last step is putting on the um, the little oval. Okay. My uh, fast fuse is not cooperating today, so I just put that there. And I did cut out a sentiment from the guy greetings. Used a lot of stamps and inks this time from Guy Greetings. The Happy Birthday. Just take a little bit of the, uh, I stamped it in soft suede and used the washi tape punch. Stamped it out, or punched it on, I mean. Just give it a little bit of a distressed look. Tape it on. And there we have the card. Another option, if you'd like to give it even a more realistic look, is put a word window inside of here, and it does give it a little bit of a of a um, more realistic look. I don't know if you can see it or not. So that's our card for today, Faux Rust. Thank you, and have a great day.